Well, I'm uh, responsible for research uh, innovation in science, which of course is very uh, topical, particularly at the University of Limerick, very, very involved with uh, the University of Galway in uh, developing together um, uh, synergies and alliances and so on with Georgia Tech and so on. So that's sort of what's happening between UL and Galway is what we'd like to encourage uh, all around the EU, modernise universities, uh, in, ensure that governments, despite cutting back on a lot of the monies which they're doing in Ireland as well, that they at least retain the money for research because we think it's very important. It's an investment in the future and it's for growth and jobs. Very good. And um, like what kind of main projects would you have been working on in the past? Well, well since I, I'm here now since February last year and it's really hectic because we arrived and within 10 days of us arriving we had put together the Europe 2020 uh, policy and then in that there were seven flagships and one of those I have responsibility for called the Innovation Union and really what's that doing, what that's doing in very simple terms is taking very basic research all the way to the marketplace to goods that for European companies so they can provide jobs for Europeans so pushing aside all the things the blockages or barriers that are there along that route that prevent that from happening now. And chairing a group of innovation commissioners, and we meet on a regular basis. Each one of them has responsibility for a particular barrier or a blockage that needs to be removed. And ensuring that everything that we laid out in the Innovation Union policy, which was adopted not just by the Commission and by the Parliament and by the Council of Research Ministers, but also by the heads of state and government when they met on the 4th of February. So okay. ensuring that all that has been delivered and on time. Good, very good. And is there any message you want to give to young people, young students of yours? Well, I think the biggest message is that STEM education is very important. Science, technology, uh, engineering and maths are really, really important. Obviously, when students have reached university level, it's probably too late for that. But anything in the whole research area, because we need several million more researchers in Europe, there are huge um, areas where they don't have, like in Germany, they don't have enough engineers, we don't have enough researchers anywhere in Europe, and we're developing a European research area, which would mean that researchers from Ireland can move within any of the member states, bring their pension rights with them, and have a secure career moving from one um, member state to another. So everything we're doing it will benefit Ireland. It's a European project, but it will benefit Ireland and benefit it because we have so many young people yeah. who... who really like to travel, like a bit like yourselves, <laughs> um, travel around Europe and who want to get involved and I would certainly very much encourage that. Yeah. Sounds like a fantastic opportunity. Yes, it is. I think there's a great opportunity there and I would love to see more students like yourselves getting more involved, finding out really what Europe can do because at home I think uh, because of the dif financial difficulties and so on, Europe is sort of being looked at a little bit suspiciously. But in this area of research, innovation and science, we're doing wonderful things. We have tremendous companies, both in Limerick and all throughout Ireland, who are very involved and very active in the framework programme for research. And we'd like to encourage more of that. We come in Netherlands. <laughs> this girl have power. Yeah. I'm in three countries. Three nations. Hey, three I'm countries in one second.